All right, here. This is the uh, code I've been working on with the Simply A Star. It's a little uh, jittery, probably because of the recording. Um, as you can tell here, it's doing a bit of uh, spatial processing. Uh, I got my capsule here after it's done uh, converting the uh, the uh, spatial mesh into uh, planes, and then we'll do a uh, simply A star um, pathfinding. In order to see the pathfinding that it actually develops, um, I had to do a sort of a grid placement of a, a prefab, and that's what you can see on the floor here. Uh, the best strategy I could find is to actually expand out the wall mesh, and then when it expands out the wall mesh, it uh, does the calculation for the path, and then the wall mesh uh, contracts back. That seems to provide a nice amount of uh, buffering, because as you can tell, there's a little bit of stuff against the wall here. Generally, that will have issues where if you don't give that buffer, uh, the me the pathfinding mesh will actually go through the wall, which can definitely be a little bit of uh, an issue. Um, as you can tell here, there's still a little bit of an issue here with the way it represents the uh, table here. That may be just because of the the um, resolution, I suppose, of the uh, pathfinding. I think I have it set to uh, 0.2 or 0.3 meters, which generally would be a pretty large um, resolution to use. But as you can tell here, I have it to where it is only going around a uh, roughly a 15 by 15 uh, meter zone around the player uh, where they're initially standing. Uh, normally that resolution should be too prohibitive, but I believe I can actually probably get down to maybe 0.1 or even 0.05 meters without too much of a performance penalty. It does slow down a little bit displaying the path, but that actually won't have that performance penalty when you're actually playing the game. Because you won't usually see this path. It's just a nice debugging purpose. And let's see. So as you can see, here's the capsule. He's following me around, pathfinding around. Sometimes he does get stuck, though. I was going to look at the code for that, like right there. He's stuck. I think it may have to do with the roughness of the mesh again still. Um, but definitely progress.